Yeah. There's too much light. My blessed mess forsaken! These fairy tales are close to me. So do let's fly a nightless dream. Come from me. Come craft and dark. Make a grin that's why it's all dark. My guts fill up with pretty tales. Their prissy cuteness never fails. To make me puke. To lose my wits. To lose my teeth and give me fits. Now the rents it's stale and foul. Despise the happy ending. Gross and nasty make. Greedy and terminally stupid couple survives the precipitous reversal of their fortunes, which indeed resulted from their own wretched behavior. It's barely a cautionary tale. Bring home something tasty for once. The seaweed's gone off, the lard is rancid, and that old boot won't last a week. A bit of cod or mackerel even, or bacon, or bread, or... Veg. Veg. Mm. Right you are, my dear. A fish, by all means. Big, mm. big fish. The fisherman hasn't recently caught anything but a cold. Still, he's happy. But this evidently being his lucky day, the hapless fisherman hooks a flounder who, wouldn't you know, is enchanted. Return me to the water. And your wish is my command. My wife wants a nice piece of fish to eat. But I'm sure she'd prefer a bigger, more pleasant domicile. Throw me back, and she shall have a castle. The flounder was true to his word. A castle with 100 rooms and as many servants, and indoor plumbing to boot, stands where his hovel had been. His wife, swollen with pride, hardly blinks when told the castle is a gift. Fish. Husband, ask your fish for a bigger edifice for my friends and a title to match the property. Well, if you don't ask, you don't get, my precious. I'll whisper a word in his shell like. Yeah, I think he has ears. He's just a messenger, see? No wants of his own. A pathetic sap thinks he can satisfy this lunatic battle axis anchoring for more stuff. Wrong! I'm sorry to ask, but my wife wants you to upgrade the castle to a church, and she wants to be Pope, order people around, wear a big hat, have one of the sticks with the curly thing and, and the funny robes and the colored windows and all of that, you know. You saved my life. I'll grant your request. Pope? What was to become of the current one? And what did he think would happen to him when she's Pope? And I bless you all and forgive you, everyone, except those who owe me money. Pay up and nobody gets hurt. Be generous and compassionate, my love. You are Pope, after all. I can't afford to be compassionate. Besides, that's not my job. I could be compassionate if I were like God. Tell your fish to make me like God, and then I'll show you compassion and mercy and punishment when necessary. Ah, well. She perhaps has not heard the popular saying that there is no God but God. My wife, the Pope, would be like God. Make it happen. And so I shall. Return home and see his will be done. She shall be unto God. A distinct change in tone, no. But lost on the fisherman, I'm certain. Who knew I could want too much? Life is so unfair. I don't want it to be God. Any dumber. Never heard of overreaching, selfish, vulgar, and profane. They wasted their chance to improve their lot. She demanded to be more than human. 
He did not dissuade her. But are they truly punished for their wicked pride? No! They don't have what they never had. Big deal! If you think that's pretty thin too, play on. Beyond unrequited love, this destitute fisherman has little to offer his disgruntled wife. Shelter and meager sustenance from the sea are not enough for her. I'd have left the witch. Sickening, really. Let's make them appreciate what they don't have. Make it gross. Let's move. And hello everyone, welcome back to American Me's Grimm. It's, well, me, Genesis 013, and welcome to the Fisherman and his wife. <laughs> this is a, well, fun one. You have some sea urchins which, well, turn quite evil and nasty as, well, rightfully they should. Also, we have dead fish in the sea. Also, a new variant of cleaners, crabs. This is actually probably one of my, one of my more favorite, level, prefer, favorite levels, just because it's, well, You'll see. You'll see, actually. As this tale goes on, goes onwards. So yeah, we're just making our way, making all these coconuts look all nice and rotten and whatnot. Trying to salvage the oh so unhelpful work that these crabs are making me. Very rude. Although thankfully we can actually turn them evil, like which is very convenient. Although the problem with crabs. Which kind of makes them annoying is they move very fast, so they're usually a little harder to get away from. But thankfully, I think that's all of them. So good. I mean, to be fair, things are starting to look bad. Like there's f bloody fish skeletons out, like coming out of the sky. But to be fair, we're supposed to try to make these people, like the fisherman and his wife, are supposed to be like poor and destitute and like have the worst of their lot in life. So. All I'm really doing is just kind of adding some appropriate background color for ones of such fate as them. You know, I mean, it's only fair, only right, I do so. I mean, if I didn't, I'd just be doing a disservice to the story, now would I? Also, the fish turn into, well, bones, amazingly. It's kind of... Really, it's, it's really something special, especially when you see how great of a shite hole of how polluted the water is now. Makes almost sense. But I have a sneaking suspicion that those fish now vaguely resemble like sharks for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But our first secret of the day is all the way over here. Takes a while to get, but not far not far to find. It's pretty pretty straightforward and easy. Oh, whoa, shoot! Yeah, that's also a trap. I completely forgot about that one, too. Bastards. And I forget how you're supposed to do that one. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it, I guess. <laughs> or I could just fall in the water and just be completely wet in water. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like water because you know, they should be friends, but clearly they're not. Oh, well, that said, let's make these people no. miserable. Uh, her true self exposed. She's kicked him out and is left with nothing but her amorphous desire for something, anything more. And that was the end of scene one. And yes, it is actually that is that short. But they, the scenes actually do become longer, so you'll soon see. Next one. The formerly luckless angler hooks a magic flounder and wishes on behalf of his wife, the grasping shrew, for a bigger house. How novel. The flounder swears he'll deliver while hardly seeming to mind the hook, piercing its sagging lip. Perhaps a bit of sand in that wound would improve his bite. Make it foul. Let's move! And oh, the fun we shall have with these people. And also, our new. the new guardsmen of. The, the new cleaning guardsmen of this time, sailors. Oh. 
We'll be seeing them plenty throughout this, and well, let's just say something fun will come their way. So, I'm feeling there's something behind, there's probably a secret behind there, but I can't really get to it right now. But so, I won't worry about it for now. Now we're just gonna try to get as much, as, do as much as we can to raise our deck to level up. In the meantime, well, first men are trying to ruin our fun because they do that. Why? Because they are completely rude people. And also, this is the introduction to power-ups, in which we have you know, little things that let us do special things. Like, in this is super speed. So explanatory, really. We move, like, really fast. We can also jump higher and, well, just do more things, really. It is able to recharge, so it's not like you're completely out of doing... You're screwing yourself out of, like, a single power-up. You can just, you know, use it once. So really, it's kind of like one of those things, like, it's to your advantage to just kind of make fun of. Especially in this case, since there's so many of these guys, you can just kind of do this and sort of just have your way with them, really. Also, your secret is over here on the boat, and there's still one just up there. It's a bit harder. It's a bit more awkward to reach, but we'll be dealing with them very quickly. Also, there's a new sound. There's always a sound effect accompanied with the sound effect uh, with the power ups. So that way, you'll always Kind of its way, kind of the game's way of letting you know, like when it's back. Jesus. And I think you do actually need the power up to get up there. I think just because it does extend your jumps to a slight degree. Either way, it is. But yeah, I'm not gonna. I might try one more. Have to go like one more go to grab it, but all right, I'm not gonna go completely out of my way to pick it up. But. Also, he, also, sailors become pirates. I, <laughs> I love the pirates speaking, because they are just dorks. Like, Argh, not me fish. Oh. Or you could do that. That's also very, very true, I guess. I mean, what I was doing was just silly at that point. Yeah, who knew? For foul, we can actually convert that boat, but you know, there's still a few missing parts. So, with these lovely crates of run, whoa, my god, you guys, what are you all doing? Stop, why were you guys trying to become good? Stop that, that's completely. I'm sorry, the pirates are, are kind of making me laugh with their saying, I'm so dark. Like they they honestly have they have some of the best lines they have some of the best dialogue I think uh, at least next to Grim because no one has more better dialogue has better dialogue than Grim to be fair yeah. we're painting a different story with this story we're definitely painting a different story with this area you know the looks of hey here's like Normal fishing village. Yeah, here's a complete another like pirate's den that basically bombs fish for a living. So depressed they are. Also, our new fish has changed his new colors. Looks better in my opinion, really. Just getting some last minute things before we, I think, end it off because I forget if this is actually a short one or not. It's hard to tell. I want to get that boat over there. But I don't remember how you get to there. Ah, forget it. I'll get the boat now. <laughs> He's a <laughs> Grim is a wonderful nerd at heart, and so are we. But you know what? With that said, we will continue onwards to the third scene. So we'll be right there. A main glorious castle has replaced his dumpy domicile. Only thing more insipid than realized wishes are white weddings. Let's ruin this joint before I sicken up. 
make it stinky. Let's move. So yes, on top of everything else that we have, well, the fisherman's wife now has a castle instead of her shithole of a house, which, well, even though she never asked because she was just wanting food, she's not going to care, really. But there's also one big attention to detail that you saw, and that is actually absolutely correct. That is absolutely a squid. And yes, he's kind of a jerk. And yes, also, we will be dealing with him, like, now. Which, to be fair, is more than what that bastard deserves. Shows him for spewing, spewing ink in our face. And also, just so, you know, no progress is lost. And no more silver medal, no potential, and no gold medals lost, potentially. Let's just kind of help darken the this wonderful entrance of this vainglorious queen. Who knows? Maybe she's better off, you know, showing her true color. Maybe Grim Vision will actually flatter her now that she's a queen. Well, um, people say, hmm. Eh, well, you'll see. Yes, yeah, so now we have these wonderful gargle gargle -like statues. We can actually do a tiny bit of platforming, actually. So it gets a bit awkward at times, kind of finicky. But if you can do that and jump right around, you can get a secret, which is always kind of nice to do. <laughs> but we will continue onwards and enter this main hall. Oh, hello, Butler. Yeah, that was one of our one the wonderful people cleaning. It looks actually pretty better. And well, I don't know about you, but I'm actually liking this castle a little bit more. It's looking more homely. At least to me, at least. To me, at least it is. I don't know about you. Also, those maids are crying. I don't know why. Can they see the? Don't they see the place they live at? They're like working at now. I mean, probably they're crying because they're having like an existential crisis of, hey, we didn't exist before, and now we suddenly exist. Why do I not exist? Ah. Probably stuff like that, maybe. In which, in that case, I, I guess I can't overly blame them for having some existential crisis, an existential crisis as such. Also, you know, what makes everything better. Blood and blood in your stone, blood in the cobblestone of your ha of your castle. Having fish bones for cabinets and well, torn curtains. Very lovely aesthetic. Very lovely like aesthetics if you're wanting to be. If you want the world, if you want to prove the world that you are a completely twisted person, personality, which really that's that's pretty much fair. I mean, look at it, look at this. It's real nice and stuff. But I'm gonna get those mounds because, damn it to hell, I want the I want no happiness. I want no cheeriness to be here at all because this is grim, of course. And in grim land, everything must be well. We can't have any pretent pretensions here. We're we know what we are. So we might as well try to make the world realize they don't have to hide behind their pretty colors and happiness and cheery demeanor. They can be just as miserable as we, we we can make them just as miserable and they will thank us for it because you know what? We're willing to make them feel honest with themselves. Wow, that actually sound There there is something bad with that comment, but I'm not going to talk about it. So, anyway, we will move on. What's Deeper into the queen's chambers. As he's so eloquently showing us with the camera. Make it rotten. Which we already have. Rompin' stompin' butt kicking good. But I do believe that's not everything still. And also I love how I also love the share the stairs kind of become shark faced. I don't know why. It just always kind of makes me laughing. I almost fell. That would have been awkward. Also, apparently, there's still parts of this world that haven't Robin completely been converted. That is a foolish part on my. That's foolish on my end. And there are still people crying and screaming for their lives. Hmm. And stump. They should learn better. Thinking they could escape. Hello, Mr. Bell.
the castle did not slake her thirst for things. Who couldn't see that coming? Now she wants to be Pope, though obviously several cards short of a full deck. Is she crazy enough to want that sort of power? Let's deprive her of what's left of her wits. <laughs> Make it nasty. But stomp it. And yes, we totally just rode a bell all the way to kill a few children. What of it? I mean, like you. I mean, like. What? It's it's act, it's perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with that. And with this last card, turn back to turn to Grim Vision. We have no cleaners to deal with anymore. Hooray! Now we can worry about decorating this beautiful, beautiful house in Hubble. Kind of showing the sunshine and everything. And you know what? Maybe we get to see what the queen looks. What the fisherman's wife looks like now as queen in this wonderful and happy land of Grim. What do you say? She's flipping crazy now! Woohoo! Look at her go! My turn! My turn! Hey, hey, And that was the fisherman and his wife. This will the first half. I think it's gonna be safe, just I'll end the session here, so I will continue the other half of the story in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.